All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you're doing all right on this fine May 4th. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the 4th. God damn. Speaking of which, uh, I'll probably put out a Bad Batch review of the first episode, like, sometime this week. It'll it'll get here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, other than that, I hope you're doing all right. Had some technical issues yesterday, which means I couldn't stream. It sucks, I know, I'm sorry, but, you know, shit happens, so we're, we're here. And we're just waiting for the game to load. Close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Gus was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel of Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. <laughs> I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Not as bad as Jedediah and shit like that. What kind of name is Micah? Although, you know, it did take me a minute to realize John had never actually been up this way back in the day with the gang. It was only like a couple of people. Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Alright, here we are. Where are we pulling up at? Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. <laughs> see if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Alright, in the store we go. Alright, stranger. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim 
Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the way? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All right, off we go to go find Abigail. She said she went towards the doctor's place. Which there was never a doctor we could use here. But there appears to be one now. Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. That's sweet. Though the problem is you still need to find a place to live, though they got rooms for rent. into the wild we go once again. West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. This is about as far west as any of the gang had ever been. Although I think we came up a little bit through past this way as Arthur. Like, like with Sadie, I think, for that mission where we were massacring a bunch of O'Driscolls. Sons of civilization just yet. Now we go north. That didn't sound good. Uh oh.
Just turn up this way through these trees. And there's a ranch. This must be it. Did I just run over a bird? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Ooh, shit, okay. I'm not about to get hurt now. That's my damn wagon! Hey! Hey! I don't have a rope or anything. Oh, what the fuck? No! Threaten! Threaten! Okay, back we go. And uh, I'm pretty sure that horse will find its way home. Hey! Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got, we got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here, you're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But... We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. 
Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. New job. Got a house. Time to get to work. New house and uh, new horses are available at Tumbleweed and Blackwater. Where are we? Right here. Oh. Knock knock. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> he got left with Come the actual job. I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Just had to get the wagon back. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Didn't really have much of a choice, no. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just yep. a ranch hand. And plus, a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. 
And plus, nobody's gonna let themselves get robbed if they don't have a choice not to. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. All right. Pull, pull. That cow likes you. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. From a dairy maid to cleaning shit. Lovely. How old you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? <sighs> mm-hmm. Plus, that doesn't need to be said. Nobody thinks cleaning crap is pleasant. <laughs> I mean, there are some okay. people, but, uh... Well, you get them stalls cleaned out. We're not here to kink shame. <laughs> okay. Jack, let's just... Try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. Alright, let's grab Pitchfork. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Right, let's clean some shit. <laughs> You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, ah! sir. Nothing. Oh yeah, he probably doesn't remember any of it. Almost got me. Hold on. There's none in there. John Marston, the terror of the turds. Oh, it splashes. Ugh. Moving up. I did not need that detail. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Come on, pick it up. I don't imagine it's a smell you get used to either. All right, what's left? Just a little bit more. <sighs> Stinking piles of... All right, return the pitch. For Reckon us. even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. All right, off we go, back to the house. We still have our wagon, too. Look, maybe we could sell it to Seamus. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, 
Well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> All right, back to work. How much did that say we made? Like what? Four, like five bucks or something? I know we got fourteen, but. Okay, so we got two missions on the map. One of this David Gettys and Thomas Dickens. All right, I guess this one is the closest. It's kind of a, it's a fuck. I'm forgetting the word, but it's a radius. There we go, Mr. Gettys. Hey. Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. Well, sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. I mean, I guess... Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. All right. He could combine, like... Say he used to be a bounty now, hunter and combine... Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Combine that with the, uh... Now the next rail. Legal dispute story. Say so it ate up most That's of his it. money. Okay. It didn't make a lot of sense. You're doing all right. And we're gonna lower that down. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Wait, can I, can I? There we go. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Got a lot of work to do. And this should be what the last piece. Jim Mill, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Wait, where yet? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hurry, hurry, quick as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, oh shit! Shit! I'll get him. Get him! 
And he destroyed part of the fence. No, no. Whew. Come here. No, no, no. Oh shit! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Need to not the fence. Hey, look out! We got a stray on the ranch. Why can't I? Why can't I hook it? I can't lasso it. Damn it! Shoot! Shoot! No! No! Oh shit! Come on! Come on! How am I gonna don't you dare! Thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Relax. Up. There, there. There, there. Relax. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy. There easy. you go. Easy. All there better? You go. Come on. Okay. Now come on, you honking Chuck. You got a temper on you. Don't get no ideas. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Okay, so each mission seems to be about a day. Uh, what I mess up? Avoid being hit by the bull. I tried. I really tried. All right, so the last one is for Mr. Gettys himself. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Gettys. You got an answer for me? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Uh, good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. All right, let's get to work. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something well when mr gettys goes into town well it ain't exactly for uh business oh, oh so it's like that uh, okay then 
All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. All right. Let's go find the kid. There he is. I think he's about to get kicked in the face. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Hey, yes, I do. Now. Pretty Relax. big one. You done? Come on. Okay. That's Jeremiah. Okay. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> that sounds Calm disgusting. Down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <sighs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. I know what he are. means, but I don't like the sound of that. Morning. All right, complete Jeremiah's stam uh, stamina. Let's get a lather up. We're gonna run circles around the property so I stay, uh, you know, pretty close when he runs out of stamina. Come on, let it all out of you. you got some energy? Show me then. Good boy. Okay, we're getting close. Everything you got. Come on. That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Where is he at? In here. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Hop on up. Stay calm. Go. Me? A horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. There you go. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony. But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, yep. but... But... Just worry about the horse. Just yeah? relax. Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. How's it feel? There you go. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. Okay. 
I hope I don't have to fully witness the miracle of birth here. <laughs> so, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my god, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard, you just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Fine legs, oh my god. Okay, now hold on. And pull them. Grip them. Almost. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, <laughs> Mr. Milton. She just dropped that real quick. I mean, as she should, but you know, still. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, mister. Can you tell I'm having a terrible day? Things can only get better. Okay. And here we are. Back at home. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Go on, girl. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. There you go. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Doesn't sound very confident. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... There you go. Get in the hang of it real quick. Right, let's go a little See, faster. You can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. How's it feel? Uh, don't let him go too fast, or he may get bucked off the horse. Then just Even a little faster, bit more. Faster. There you go. 
Look at him, he's got the hang of it. Although I'm you surprised. Know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. That even with the uh, living with the gang for a while, he, they didn't teach him how to ride horses from a real early age. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. There you go. I think that'll be our limit for right now. Good girl. Alright, he okay. said he was heading up to the stream. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Where'd he go? Get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. Idiot. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! All right. Hey, <laughs> come back here. I'm just well, so I'm far ahead of him. I just blew past him immediately. I don't think this well. is fair. <laughs> His horse is half the size of mine. Your horse is much bigger. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. <laughs> we just leave him behind and then he gets eaten by a fucking bear. <laughs> He's really far behind. Oh my god. I believe it when I see it, boy. Let's I don't even know what he said. Come on. Come on, girl. Well ready, son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. The hell is that? Old habit. Investigate the disturbance. Watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. How you doing, Grip? <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, get him now. Oh, get him. I'll oh, kick his head in, boss. Come on. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Kicking his ass are real good. I'm going to smell like cow dung, boys. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Come on. Come on. Somebody's gonna have to pull me off of him. Get, get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here! Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. 
And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. They were fucking shooting them. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. I mean, and plus, like, like. <laughs> now, dear. What that? What that? Oh, without taking a hit, I almost did. I, I won't hear any more of it. But won't hear I mean, getting in a fist fight like that ain't ain't bad either. It's not even near equivalent to killing somebody. I don't see the issue. But <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens when we return in a moment. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. Again, may the 4th be with you uh, on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all in a moment.